Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the basement. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit cool to be sitting in the garage today doing this. It's like minus seven outside. And if you hear a rumbling in the background, that's just the furnace, okay? As I said, it's about minus seven outside. Although the sun is shining, it's a bit on the cool side. Anyway, I thought I'd do a video today. I'm doing some cleanup of my equipment before I stow it for the winter. I just thought I'd go over a couple of quick things for the new people out there um, regarding the uh, winter storage of equipment. Now, one of the worst things you can do to a fishing rod is just throw it in the corner in your basement or garage with the line still on nice and tight and store it for the winter um, because it can actually damage the blank. It actually cause the blank to warp when you're, you're leaning them up against the wall. I'm going to show you an image. I found this on Facebook the other day and the individual that posted this, I won't mention any names, is really pleased. Uh, about how their, you know, the storage of all their fishing equipment for the winter. And a lot of people were pitching in and saying in the comments, you know, that's not the way to do it. You're going to end up warping the blanks of your fishing rod. You could end up cracking. Uh, notice in the corner here, there's a whole bunch of fishing rods that are just leaning up against the wall. And they've all got their reels on, so that means that they've, you can see the floats, you can see whatever, you can see they still have lines on. This is not a good idea because you're actually putting a lot of pressure on the tip of your fishing rod. And the tip of your fishing rod blank is everything. It really is. Once you damage it, you essentially ruin that fishing rod. And notice the ones on the wall. Even though they're being hung horizontally, the line is way too tight on some of them. You can see the tips are actually curved. This will eventually warp the blank, and you don't want to do that. You want to keep the blanks, especially the tips, nice and straight. And the way you do that is that, one, you take your line off your fishing rod, all right, so that there's no pressure or stress on the blank whatsoever, and you store it either in a vertical rack or a horizontal rack so that there are no stresses on the blank whatsoever. It's completely relaxed, okay? And as far as the reel is concerned, the line should be, if you're going to keep the reel on the line, you should not have it fed uh, uh, onto the fishing rod. You just have it clipped into the spool and back your drag off as well. Loosen it completely while you have the reel stored, all right? This will help maintain your equipment and you get a bit more use out of it. Now, when it comes to cleaning, especially the, um, the reel, all right, you want to only take the reel apart where pieces that you know you can put back together, all right? Don't be unscrewing screws unless you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you'll never get it back together again, or you could lose parts. You don't need to do it for the most part because your drag system is completely enclosed either in the cap or in the body of the reel, depending on how your reel is manufactured. All right, so are all the gears and cams that make it work. You don't need to expose them. What you need to check is the exterior of your reel. Just take the cap off by unscrewing it. Check underneath there, clean out any gunk that you find, all right, any debris, and clean up the exterior so there's nothing on the outside. On the inside here, you want to make sure that the spindle is fine, is clean. Uh, the area here on the base is nice and clean. You can drop in a little bit of real oil or DW, uh, WD-40. Uh, you can also check your bale wire here. Make sure that everything inside uh, these little uh, nooks and crannies are clean. All right. You can also put a little bit of uh, lubricant in there if you want. And also in the handle area, you take the handle off, make sure it's nice and clean and put it back in. and then just generally clean the body of the reel. That's all you really need to do. Now you can get real cleaner that usually has a little bit of a, a, a lubricant in which helps uh, lubricate parts of the reel as well as clean some of the gunk off. It's a degreaser. Uh, you can get some grease and oil. This is part of a kit that you can use on these parts as well. And that's basically all you need to do to maintain your reel. And as I said before, make sure you back off the drag. That is loosen it completely so that there's no pressure on the reel while it sits either in a reel bag or on the handle of your fishing rod. And all you've got to do in the spring is 
put fresh line to it, and off you go. You're ready for your next fishing adventure. All right. With the fishing rod, same deal. You want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Guidelines are clean. All right. Your guide, uh, guide line guides are clean. There's no, no debris in the inserts, that there's no chips, rough uh, areas. The standoffs are nice and clean. You want to clean off the blank itself, clean off the handle area. You can clean it again uh, with uh, Mr. one of those Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Cleaners. They are great for uh, fishing rod handles because they're not abrasive and they will get the stuff off. And you'd be surprised, even if it looks clean, what comes off the handle. Uh, make sure your real seat here, no chips, no cracks. Make sure these areas in here are nice and clean. Make sure the real lock is nice and clean in there as well. Just simply run it, uh, rub it down, and then just do a quick check of everything. Make sure there's nothing there that could cause you grief come the springtime. And that is all you need to do. And don't forget, when you're storing it, either lay it flat or use the rafters in your garage or your basement, or get yourself some racks. You can pick them up in any tackle store. You can order them from Amazon. You can get horizontal ones with ones where the fishing rod is going to lie across. Uh, or you can get the vertical ones where the fishing rod is sitting up and down. And this is a great way to store your fishing rods because there's no strain on the blank whatsoever. It keeps the blanks nice and straight, keeps them nice and relaxed, and they'll be in good shape come spring. And all you have to do is add a new line on and off you go. All right? So that is the best advice I can give you. As I said before, hey, you don't have to take my advice. It's just a few tips I like to pass on. If you don't want to do that, you know, remember, it's on you. It's your equipment, not mine. All right, so until the next video, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. We'll see you soon, right? This is Shannon saying, tight lines.